What's up, y'all? I'm Joey. It's my wife, Nicole. Hi. And this is Unsophisticated Decor. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be shooting our uh, very first video, so bear with us a little bit. Uh, today we're going to be showing you guys a uh, haul video. This is all stuff that we picked up at either thrift stores or off of Marketplace. Um, most of the stuff, most of the larger furniture pieces we picked up off of Marketplace. And then the more decor items we got at uh, thrift stores. Some of the stuff we got for free, even. Um, as you guys will learn by watching our channel, I'm a little bit of a bargain hunter. So, a lot of it, bargain hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much everything here we got for, I think the most expensive item was the desk there, and we paid $12 for that. All together, everything that's here, I added it up, we spent $132. So we are uh, in preparation to open our uh, antique booth in the Lawrence Antique Mall. We just moved here recently from Phoenix, Arizona, where we had an antique um, booth in the Brass Armadillo. Uh, we, we did that for about eight months. Yeah. We really enjoyed it, but we had to close it down to move here. Uh, so we are pretty much starting from scratch because we got rid of all the big furniture. We still have some, some decor items that we moved with us that didn't, yeah. didn't quite sell, but... Yeah. We pretty much had to start from scratch, so that's why you see such a, a large hall here. Our booth is pretty big in the antique mall, so we have a, a bunch of space to fill out. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, the first item is this. This was purchased at $3.99. Let me get close so y'all can see. We got that from a Salvation Army. And it's a uh, towel that has been dipped in cement. And then they put it over a pot and let it dry like that. I've, all, I've seen these before and I've always wanted to try it. But uh, we saw this one and we thought it was really cool. It is. It is it's really unique. I've never seen anything like this. So I jumped at it as soon as I saw it. And here we have it. All right. And then the next thing we have here is this uh, cake tray with the lid. Uh, we got this from the Goodwill for... $5.99. Um, we're going to paint this white, distress it back, and it'll have that perfect uh, farmhouse look to it. Okay. Uh, the next thing, let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Let me get it out of here. <laughs> so this, this is actually marked down. Um, blue tag sale. So it, it was listed originally for $4.99. So we obviously got it for $2.50, half price off, and it folds, so I'm really excited to paint this. I don't know why, because it's so intricate, but I can't wait to get my hands on some paint with this item. Let me show you the back of it, if you wanted to see that too. Alright, so we talked about getting some of the stuff for free. Um, over the weekend, I was looking on Marketplace, and there was an ad for uh, somebody was moving out of their house, and they had a whole bunch of stuff on their front lawn. So I went over there and rummaged through all the stuff that they had. This is one of the things that they had. It is a uh, E.O. Brody Co. glass dish. It's green. Um, I looked it up online, and they sell for anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. I got it for free, so I thought it was, thought it was really neat, and... It would be it's perfect gonna for go our booth. Great in the booth, yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and talk about this desk. Let me move out the way and get this out the way as well. So, the desk, as he mentioned, was our most expensive item. I'm not going to move it entirely, but let me see if I can clear enough space for y'all to see. Let you guys take a look at it. It's a small, like school age. School age, you know, children's desk. desk. Um, it's in pretty rough condition. It's been used, obviously. So we are going to sand it down real good and then paint it. Uh, more than likely to stress it back. Is that you know we, we usually go for the farmhouse aesthetic. So if we paint it and distress it, that'll give us give it that look. Uh, the next thing we have here is something that we kind of bought thinking we were going to keep, but we have so much Coca Cola stuff in our house that we don't have a place for it. And I actually have a sign similar to that. It's more weathered, 
and I I like the weathered look better than you know this crisp pristine. But it's real similar to cell. this. So this yeah. is a this is like a tin sign that was put into a uh, shelf here. Like the shelf. Really the shelf cool. Looks really cool. It's in really good condition. You can even add like you know actual Coca Cola uh, cans on those edges if you if you want to do it that way. Uh, but yeah, we couldn't pass that one up. And we got this off of Marketplace for seven bucks. So that was a really good deal. Coca Cola is gonna sell forever, so you gotta get it as soon as you see it. Um, we'll move on to let's go back here to these little desks. <laughs> <laughs> here, just give me that. We'll move it up. We're going to the little desks, which as soon as I saw these, no question, I snatched them up. And it's a it's a left hand right hand desk, which is awesome because I I have a left handed child, so it's perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and either sell them as as is. There's a few nicks on them, so I'm gonna a see couple. if I can sand them down that's and, and restain it. Bit, I'm pretty no. sure I have a stain that's the same stain. So if I can sand it and restain it, then we'll do that. If not, then we'll go ahead and paint it and distress it back. We paid five bucks for them. Yeah. And those are really cute. Really, really cute. Uh, the next thing we have here is this awesome rocking chair that I picked up off of Marketplace. Really cute. It's a small one. Um, it's pretty old from the size of it and the look of how things were made. It's got these cool ball and claw legs. It's in really good condition. Um, I paid 10 bucks for it, so that was a great deal. Awesome. Um... So we have three of these guys. They were on sale as well. Two of them were marked at two ninety nine blue tag, so they were half price no, they were, off. They were dollar ninety nine, and the other one was two ninety nine. Oh, oh, so this was the two ninety nine one. Yeah. Okay, so so this one was the one that was marked at two ninety nine. The other, we have two others, exactly the same. A dollar ninety nine is what they were marked as. So you know, me doing me, I got away with getting them all three for the same price. And they, were and they were 50% off, 50 so we actually paid only so a dollar for each one of them. Dollar a piece, These yeah. are awesome. We'll paint these up, distress them back. It'll give that perfect farmhouse look for you. Yep. All right, moving on here. Let's go right down here in the front. We have this piano bench that I was able to pick up off a of marketplace for five bucks. Uh, it looks like the, the seat itself has already been um, reupholstered with a nice black like vinyl. The the, the frame itself is in great condition. Great. There's a couple little dings, but I have some a product that I use called Restore Finish that I believe I'll be able to uh, cover those up and you won't even be able to tell. Mm -hmm. So this is really awesome. This yeah. is a good find. And then while we were right there, let's just continue. What was underneath it is, like I said, Coca-Cola. You can never go wrong with Coca-Cola. It's just a Coca-Cola crate, nothing fancy about it. Um, we actually at one point had purchased a ton, well, I think we got them for free. We had a ton of Coca-Cola bottles. If you just like deco and, and are a Coca-Cola fanatic like myself, you can literally just fill this up with old Coca-Cola bottles, set it in your house somewhere, and it gives, it gives just the, the, the perfect, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> perfect look and a perfect accent. Yes. Uh, this was another one of the items that I got for free for from, free. The, from yeah. that uh, house that was moving out. This was just on the curb there, so I picked that up because that's cool. Get this little guy out the way. So cute. Just a, a little house. This one dog. also came from the from the uh, free stuff. So I thought that was really cute. It'd go great on the wall. We, we've got plenty of wall space in our booth, so we got to fill it up as much as possible. And this, I think, will be great. Look, the year, 1986. And it says that this was done by Pencil Art from uh, the artist, I believe is Bob Le uh, Lettier from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. So this is a really cool piece. Pick that up. It's matted. It's in a nice frame. So it'll look nice. Another piece of wall art. It's a canvas painting. Um, pretty much what I got from this is this looks like a cutting board of some sort, a towel, uh, a pot with some, you know, uh, ferns or some type of greenery coming out of it. Super cute. I think somebody would, would appreciate this and, and like it. So we picked that one up. All right. This here is a awesome solid wood rocking horse that I was able to find on Marketplace. Um, this was free. It was out on the curb with uh, actually with this thing back here, which I believe was a doll bed originally. 
Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and paint that up, use it use it for display purposes like it is here. Set some smaller items on top of it and use it you for display. You can use it as like a, a tray, um, or like a some riser, sort, or something or, like no, that. Yeah. Uh, this this uh, rocking horse here is in great condition, so we're just gonna clean it up. I'll uh, put some uh, furniture polish on it. Maybe maybe wash the uh, hair just to. Have my, have my kids be ready. Look, when my kids saw this, uh, all four of them, <laughs> they all wrote it. And they all wanted to they, keep they it. They want to keep it. They're 10 to 15, so they're a little <laughs> big to be they're trying to keep something big. like They're a bit big. I mean, it's sturdy. It can, it can handle them, but. Yeah. Let me get this a little closer. It's a little heavy. <laughs> look, get, get a good look at it there. Really good conditions. Really great conditions. Oh, that's cool. All right, right underneath that, we have this trunk. That I was able to pick up off of uh, Marketplace as well. This is so cool. Uh, came with the key and everything, so this is cool. It's in pretty good condition. Structurally, it's in great condition. Um, the outside is, you know, a little rough. A little but weathered, yeah. Gives it that rustic look. I'm not 100 percent sure what we're gonna do with this just yet. We may leave it as it, it is. Might. I have a couple of ideas for it. Um, we may paint it green mm -hmm. to stretch it back a little bit. Put some army, uh, like, uh, make it like an army trunk. Yeah. Um, and then my, the other idea I had was to. Uh, decoupage some uh, comic book on there so it make it like a little boys going go in a little boys room like a little boys trunk mm -hmm. that'll be great it's in great condition otherwise structurally it's in good condition uh, let's take a look inside again just a basic really trunk good condition you guys can see yep. that um well So this is priced at four ninety nine, and it's just a, a basic. Uh, I mean, you can pretty much use this universally as whatever you want to use it as a toolbox. You can do it as a planner. Um, I think we're going to just paint this, maybe put a stencil on it, and yeah, I think you can it was, do what you will with it. I think it was a uh, shop project because it says Carter on here, so I'm, I'm assuming this is probably something that a, ki a kid made in like wood shop or something probably like that. Cool, yeah. But it's cool, and, and with the with the prices of wood, right, with the prices of wood right now, I couldn't have made this for any cheaper. So this was a, this was a, you know a good find for us. Mm -hmm. Come on over the desk. Oh, the uh, end table here. Yeah. Yeah. So this end table here we uh, also found on Marketplace. Um, it's got a drawer on the front, which. And, in, and the inside of the drawer is really cool. It's, it's cool. It's got some like I don't know. It's got a lining on, like a newspaper thing. type lining on the inside. Yeah. It's really good condition. Really structurally sound. Um, there's it's been so, it's got some wear on it, so we will probably paint this one here. Yeah. Um, Definitely. We like I said, we paid ten bucks for that, and I thought that was a steal. Uh, moving on over here, these are something that I had to kind of fight my wife here about keeping. <laughs> Because I would keep these, all four of them. But we found these uh, found these four Coca-Cola uh, trays. They're real, like, small trays. Now, this one and this one, I'm, I'm trying to keep. She really wants to keep those ones, but... <laughs> because I have a sign already like this, and I don't have a sign like this one, but I'm okay to let that go. But I, I definitely want to keep these two, so we'll But like we'll I said, see. we have a bunch of Coca-Cola we'll stuff in our house. See. We don't have really much wall space any, left anymore, so <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. But we got, anyway, we got these for three bucks from a uh, small local mm -hmm. thrift store called Blessings Abound. Really neat place. Awesome place. They had so it much was, stuff. Yeah, it was, like, it was, there was tonnage in that place. Tons. It was really cool. Um, we found these in there, and then we thought that that was a good deal, so we yeah. got picked those up. This big behemoth of a finial <laughs> here, we got from a uh, Salvation Army as well. Picked it up for five ninety nine. It is twenty three inches tall, and originally it came from at home, and they sold it for twenty nine ninety nine. We picked it up for five ninety nine. This is something that will paint white, distress back, let bring, the red come through, bring back that red, just, bring yeah. back that those uh, character the the features on it, mm -hmm. and it'll look really neat. Okay, this one here is a very, very neat uh, Queen Anne this. style little end table nightstand type th type of deal. Really cool legs. We picked this one up off of off or uh, excuse me, uh, marketplace as well. Five bucks, so we had to pick it up. 
It's in great condition structurally. Mm -hmm. Again, the top has seen a little bit, seen, seen better days. It's been worn and, you know, there's little watermarks here and there and stuff like that. But it's, it's solid wood and it was uh, constructed really well. It's good condition. So this is something that we'll probably paint. And uh, again, distress back to give it that farmhouse look. Mm -hmm. And that'll go good. Uh, this, this here, this here, everything on this, in this section here, um, on this riser, we got for free, except for this milk bottle here. Yeah, that. this milk bottle, so cute actually, and we are not going to do anything to this. This is going to go as is. Let me give you I a love the color of that. It's that perfect cream and it color. it says milk on it. It's listed at $2. We paid 2 bucks for it. That was from the Blessings of Bound Thrift Store as well. Yeah. Yeah. In Overland Park, Kansas. As soon as we saw it, I just picked it up and stuffed it under my arm. Like, I had to. <laughs> so, uh, the rest of this stuff was from that uh, free, uh, how the house had all the free stuff. So, here's a little small, little one pint milk jug, clear milk jug. Again, another milk. That was free. Container. And then we had, yeah. I saw this, I thought this was really cute. It is a key uh, candle snuffer. That's awesome. It's like pewter or. Something like that. It's already got work. I mean, I, I don't it's know already, if this is natural maybe, or. It's got like that white wax look yeah. to it. So it's got like the distressed look to it. So we're not doing anything to, to that really either. Really cool. Yeah. And then there was these two different sets of candle sticks. I believe all three of these are meant to go together. And then those two are meant to go together. So there's a small one. And then there's a medium one. And a large one yeah. of this set. That set has a small and a larger one. So those will get uh, painted a certain color in the stretch bag. Those are really cool. And then the, the riser itself. Alright, so this table here, I'm not going to pick it up because this thing is heavy. <laughs> it, I believe it was handmade. It looks like it. It's yeah. solid wood made by made with two by sixes. Um, there's a really cool detail on the leg. Let me see if I can turn it around. Maybe you can see a little better. Really cool detail on the leg. Solid wood. We paid five bucks for this. We got this off of uh, Marketplace as well. Um, it's seen some better days as well, so it'll obviously get painted. It'll get painted. And distressed, and distressed. Back. Yeah. All of these frames here came from that free house as well. Uh, I love to pick up old frames because you know the the possibilities are really endless. We with have these. so many different sizes too. There's a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different styles. Some of them have already have the the right look. Like this one here is silver and it's got like an already it's aged and distressed look. Really that one is like a like, rustic yeah. farmhousey look. The white one there is already cool. So a lot of these, some of these will get get uh, painted and distressed, and we might do some certain projects with them. Like I make um, shelves with these. I take a uh, uh, chicken wire and attach it to the back and you can use them for like jewelry, jewelry display yeah. right so that was a great find i think we got yeah, 10 yeah. total Maybe i think we have 10 total yeah. of these so i had to pick these up they had a bunch more frames but these are the ones that were in good enough condition the to salvage best, yeah so we picked i picked those up we might just leave alone and you can do what you want you know what you will with them getting down to the to the last of our stuff here thanks for bearing with us the next thing we got here is this awesome little heart de uh this thing i table. love it's solid wood we're a little late for valentine's day but it's it's still cute i think that once this gets painted i have no idea what color we would paint this i i would like to do red but i know that red doesn't go with everyone's decor so i don't know it's still up in the air um, but it, it's it's so cute. The bottom's heart shaped. The top's heart shaped. I think I think this is just adorable. I was I was thinking about possibly uh, stenciling on top of this here. I have a uh, XOXO stencil, mm -hmm. so we may paint it white. Put a you know the the XOXO stencil. It's like a repeating pattern stencil. Put that across the top and stretch it all back. That would, that would look really neat. So there's that. We paid five bucks for this. We got this off of Marketplace as well. Oh yeah, these here as a as a furniture restorer refinisher, we uh, we can't use enough uh, pulls drawer pulls. We always find furniture, but they're missing drawer pulls. Yeah. So this was a set of six, and we picked this up from the Salvation Army. It was a set of six oil rub bronze pulls. 
really nice. We paid $3.99 for the set of six of those, but you can't beat that deal at all. Yeah. And they're brand new, never been used. And that was a great deal for us. Uh, here's a little crate that was like probably handmade, I would assume. I think so. We paid three bucks for this. This one also came from the Blessings Abound uh, thrift store. That's really cool. Um, the, I'm not a fan, huge fan of the color of it, so it'll probably yeah, be, painted be painted and distressed okay. back. Uh, you know, you could use this as a centerpiece, put some put some floral in there, yeah. put some glassware in there, whatever you want to do with it. Do. Yeah. That's really neat. And uh, the last thing here we have is this really cool. This is really neat, guys. End table here. It's got a storage that opens up in here. Right here in the front, it has a little area for like magazines. Uh, it's in great condition. Really structurally sound. We paid uh, ten bucks for that off the of marketplace as well, and yeah, that's gonna be cool. Painted up and distressed back. May put some kind of stencil on the top. I think it might. Look, it's, it's large enough. I think it will look cool with like, like a big stencil across the top. Yeah. Um, oh, and then actually the last thing we have here is these stools. These that we stools. Up. So we were sitting on these earlier, but we, we have four of these. We picked up four of these. We got these off the of marketplace. We got the set of four for twenty bucks. Um, we only have two in the video because the other two we had already started working on. Yeah. Um, so we're going to paint them in sets of twos. Two of them are going to be going black with a white stencil across the top. And then these two are going to be going white with a black stencil across the top to stress back to bring back that wood, that natural wood color. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll, they'll have a great farmhouse look to them when we're finished. Yeah. All right. So that, that, that brings well, us to the end it. of our awesome our first haul mega video. thrift haul. Yeah. I'm so excited to get to work and um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, of course, like, uh, share, comment, subscribe. We are definitely going to try to be um, uploading maybe on a weekly, maybe every two week basis. We're literally just getting started, so we, we haven't really got a, a set schedule yet. But we have some um, ideas for some different videos. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing more haul videos. Definitely. We're going to be doing um, trash to treasure videos. So we'll take some of these items that we that you see here today. And we'll show you the process on how we, you know, take them and fix them up, paint them, refurbish them, take them from trash to treasure. Um, we may be doing some uh, tutorial videos, yeah. like how to how That's to do those good. type of yeah. processes. I may also make like little benches and step stools and stuff like that. We may do some of those. And then we also are going to be doing some uh, antique booth uh, tour videos as well, showing right. you guys our antique booth in yeah. the Lawrence Antique Mall, which we will be moving into, by the way, on April fifteenth. Keep that in mind. So if you're in the we'll Lawrence see, area, yeah. uh, make sure Kansas you come City by and area, see us. Come, come through weekends. I mean, all through the week, absolutely. Yeah, we're but open seven days a week. Yes. Please, please come support. Thank you so much for being with us this first video. If it seems a little lengthy, again, we apologize. And again, it's 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 new. We are working on this. Um, but yeah, uh, I was excited for this. I hope you guys are as well. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.